first flight's a shuttle to the base at Groom Lake. It's all VFR to avoid a paper trail, but along the way we have to pass through the Las Vegas-class Bravo airspace, as well as a bunch of restricted airspace owned by Nellis Control. I'll handle all radio communication, you do the flying. We'll take off and fly runway heading to 4000, then turn left and fly direct to the Mercury NDB at Desert Rock. We usually file to Desert Rock, but when nobody's looking, we turn north and follow the Immigrant Valley to Groom Lake. Ready? I'll get her clearance out of here. Clearance, Janet 356, VFR to Desert Rock with information, Charlie. Janet 356, you're cleared into the Las Vegas Class Bravo airspace. Fly runway heading, maintain 4,500. Departure frequency will be 125.9er. Squawk 4211. Cleared into the Class Bravo on runway heading, climbing to 4.5. Departure on 125.9er. Squawk 4211. Janet 356. Janet 356, readback is correct. Contact ground when ready to taxi. All right, start the engines and we can get the show on the road.
Rotate. V2. Positive rate, gear up. Flaps up. Janet 356, contact departure. Janet 356, switching. Departure, Janet 356, with you, climbing to 4,500. Janet 356, radar contact, altitude restriction removed, proceed on course. Up to 14,000, own navigation, Janet 356. Okay, turn left and fly direct to the Mercury NDP. Climb and maintain 14,000. I'll let operations know we're on our way. Gold Coast, Janet 356 is airborne. Janet 356, Gold Coast, roger. Have a good one. Direct to the city. 
Orbit 217, contact Los Angeles Center, 128.07. Orbit 217. Thought we'd ask. 
crossing the Mercury NDB, so turn right to the heading of 010 and we'll fly up the Emigrant Valley toward Pyramid. It's a waypoint located at that pyramid-shaped peak on the horizon up by Groom Lake. Janet, 356, unidentified, fast-moving traffic, 2 o'clock, 10 miles, westbound, altitude unknown, port traffic in sight. Janet, 356, looking. Janet, 356, traffic alert, traffic now 12 to 1 o'clock, less than a mile, westbound, altitude unknown.
space is just ahead and to the left. Turn toward it and continue descending to the runway. Maintain 180 knots for now. The runway is the big one on the right. Airport elevation is 4,600 feet MSL. Tower, Renan 31, ready to go on the north path. Eastbound for patrol, Kikaboo with Echo. Granite 31, clear for takeoff. Traffic is a fast mover on final for the ramp and a 737 behind him on the runway. Clear for takeoff, we'll watch for the traffic. Granite 31. Vista 45, wind calm, ramp landing approved. Fire equipment standing by for spray down. Roger, ramp landing approved. Vista 45. Longhorn 27, fast mover traffic just south of the ramp now. Additional traffic is a slow mover departing the north pad eastbound. Longhorn 27 looking. Longhorn 27 has both aircraft in sight. Longhorn 27, wind calm. Clear to land runway 32. Report gear down. Clear to land 32, Longhorn 27. Longhorn 27, clear of the active, taxi to the ramp. Longhorn 27, taxi to parking this frequency. Your outbound clearance is on request. Longhorn 27, taxi straight ahead to the ramp. We'll park next to the other Janet aircraft. Please remain.
Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate and the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. We realize you don't have a choice as to how you get to Groom Lake, but nonetheless, we appreciate you choosing to fly there with us. Job security all around. Enjoy your day. Tower, this is 63 South Ramp. Request East Departure with Delta. This is 63 Wind Column East Departure approved. Caution 737 on taxi. East Departure approved. This is 63. Flying, by the way, although officially this flight never happened. Welcome to Dreamland. <laughs> 